What's up, Pokemon fans? Trevor from Jolly Mons here, and today we are playing Pokemon Trading Card Game Online. We're not actually going to play. It is our week to do a deck, so we are going to do a deck profile first. And here's the deck, guys. It is Bulu Vigavolt. Now, this deck has been a lot of fun for me, and I'm definitely excited to show you guys. It's, it's a top-tier deck right now. It's doing really good. I... At locals, I'm doing pretty well with it. I think I'm undefeated at locals, so pretty good. But let's get into it. I hope you guys are having a good day. But up first, we have our Pokemon. We have 14 Pokemon. Of course, we're going to start off with the Grubbin. Uh, we're running three of those. One Chargebug and three Vigavolt. So the object here is to get the Vigavolts out. You only play one Chargebug because you want to rare candy the Grubbin into Vigavolt. That's how you're going to try to get your Vigavolts out. So Vigavolt, if you don't know what it does, once during your turn you may search your deck for a Grass Energy and a Electric Energy. And you can attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like. So you can get Grass and Electric. So with that being said, you're attaching two energies with that and one for turn so you can have a Bulu ready by turn two if you can rare candy into a Vigavolt so that's pretty strong having a Bulu by turn two attacking is whoo really really good now say if later on in the game you strong charge and there's only grass energy in the deck you can still get the grass energy you don't have to get both you can fail the electric energy fine, you can fail the grass fine, you just tell your opponent, hey, I'm just getting a grass energy, or hey, I'm just getting an electric energy. You do not have to get both. So, just throwing that out there, because it's just, it says grass energy and electric, so maybe people think they have to do both. You do not. So we're running a 313 of the Vigavolt line. Up next is our main attacker, Tapu Bulu. So he's got 180 HP, which is pretty decent. Um, for one grass, he can horn attack for 30 damage. For a two grass and a colorless, which is going to be our main attack, it's Nature's Judgment, does 120. But if you discard all the energies, you can do 180. So it's hitting pretty hard if you have to. If you discard all the energies next turn, you can attach for turn. Then Vigavolt for two more energies, bam, you're back ready to go. And then the GX attack, by far is, oh, I love the GX attack. It For two grass and a colorless, you do 150 damage, which is more than the other attack, and you heal all damage from Tapu Bulu. That's ridiculous. You're healing all the damage done, and you're doing 150? That's a lot of damage and your healing. It's ridiculous. I love the GX attack on this card. So that is our main attacker. We're running three of those. Up next is, I mean, most Bulu players are playing this, which I agree, it can come in clutch. But um, we're playing one Tapu Coco GX. That's why we have the electric energy. Well, plus we can search with it for Vigavolt. So it's, it's pretty easy. But we're just playing him just if we have to arrow trail attach all the energy to him you can do 130 if we have to we can do 150 with tapu thunder if we have all our electric out just it's really it's really clutch um from playing with it at locals there's been one time that i'm like i need coco out like now so it definitely has its place in the deck but definitely a one of up next we have oricorio the good one which is the one with Supernatural Dance. For each Pokemon in your opponent's discard pile, put one damage counter on your opponent's Pokemon any way you like. It's like Espeon, GX attack, but you can do it any way you like. One damage counter for as many Pokemon in their discard pile. A funny thing is, um, I was playing Sunday, and I was playing Mega Gardevoir, like, I, that's what I was using, and I was playing Oricorio, and <laughs> it was just a weird matchup, just weird board state and he took out one of my Gardevoirs and I sent up Oricorio because he had exactly 30 HP left and there was a stadium so I revelation dance for the knockout and I just thought it was the funniest thing 
but a very good card. You want to use it for the Supernatural Dance attack. Then, of course, we have our two Lele. You guys know what this does. Wonder Tag wins games. Energy Drive's pretty good as well. We do not have a Psychic Energy for the Cure, so we're not using Lele's GX attack at all. Now, this list is a little bit different from what I've been playing at Locals. This was a list that I believed did really well in a league cup and I was interested in trying it because I'm comfortable with my list that I played at locals. If you guys want to know that, I'll um, just let me know down below and I can uh, put it in the comments section or I can put it in the description. It's a little bit different from this, but um, this list is playing three field blower, which I'm eager to try out. Field blower is a really good card. Choosing two tools or a tool in a stadium is just really good. You want to get people's float stones off. Because Garbodor can shut down our Vigor Vault abilities. Do you want to get those Float Stones off? Choice Bands, which may be able to pick up a knockout on Tapu Bulu. You might want to get rid of the Choice Bands. Just a really solid card. And I like the idea of playing three. I haven't played three yet, but I think it's going to be solid. Up next, I did play this in my list. Heavy Ball. You search your deck for a retreat cost of three or more. Very good card. One of can come in clutch. So with Retreat 3 of, you can actually search a lot of things. You can search the one Charger Bug if you need to, you can search Vicavolt, you can search Bulu, and you can search, no you can't search Coco, I thought you could. That's it. Just the Bulu, Vicavolt, Charger Bug. So your main stuff, main point of the deck, you can search it. Up next, most important card in the deck, which is Rare Candy. This is how you're going to get your Grub into Vicavolt. You want to see rare candy a lot in this deck. Sometimes it sucks, like three is not enough, like it seems like that, but trust me, you cannot go more than three. Three is the right number of rare candies. You just, if you don't draw it, you just don't draw it. It's Pokemon, it's a card game. Up next we have our one Super Rod, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, self you can get energies, you can get Pokemon, whatever you need, you can get back to the deck. We got four Ultra Balls for consistency. Going to search for whatever we need. Most likely Coco or Coco Lele. Getting our a very solid play, which you probably might have to do a lot. Ultra Ball Lele. You can bridge it turn one, or you can Ultra Ball Lele get Skyla. With Skyla, you can get a rare candy. Then rare candy. Skyla is a very good card in this deck. Any like rare candy deck or a spirit link deck Skyla should be in there I promise you Skyla has won me many games so for ultra ball we have three VS seeker I played four in my list but I'm gonna try three up next I ran one of this but this deck is dickless is playing two sorry about that excuse me basic grass Pokemon and electric Pokemon take 30 damage less so we're just going to take that, put that in, try to take less damage if we can, or worst case scenario, just bump the stadium off, stuff like that. Up next, we got Bridget. Search your deck for one basic EX or three basic Pokemon. So you can pretty much, you can get Grubbin, Bulu, Coco, Oricoro, Lele. So it's basic. So doesn't talk anything about GX at all. You can get one EX, which we don't play EX, so we can get three of anything we want besides Vigable and Charger Bug. Up next, very good card in this deck is Brock's Grit. Shuffle six, any combination of Pokemon and basic energy cards. Bring your discard pile back to your deck. So I don't know why I'm yawning, it's like two in the afternoon. Best supporter, Lysander, wins games, hands down, play two of every deck if you can fit it, which you probably should and could. Up next, we're playing three in, self-explanatory, playing one Olympia, Olympia, I believe this deck needs to play Olympia, you're running two float stones, you do have the Coco if you have to, but definitely needs Olympia. Running four Sycamore. And of course, our one Skyla MVP. Up next, we have three choice bands. So these are going to go on the Bulus, obviously, and hopefully, you can get the Float Stones on Vigavolt. Sometimes you might have the Float Stone, the Bulu. Weird situation, but um, 
you gotta do what you gotta do so and then up next is the energy count which we are running eight grass and three electric I think I ran either a seven four I don't know I know my energy count was not like this I think I played one more electric maybe maybe I'm wrong I don't know but I'm trying the eight grass three electric seems pretty solid seems like enough if you can uh, just use it wisely but that's the deck guys this week we're going to be playing it showcasing it hopefully we can get some good matchup hopefully we can get some matches against top tier decks so I can show you guys Bulu has its spot in the higher uh, rankings but I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please don't forget to show some love to that thumbs up button let me know down below if you guys like the uh, deck profile if there's any changes you would make or any suggestions that I should try in like real life because I'm probably going to take this to a league cup soon there's two league cups soon so I have no idea but I'm enjoying this deck a lot and I'm excited to show it to you guys but I hope you guys are having a good day but remember stay jolly peace